Suppose you want to buy a $150,000 home. You found a bank that offers a 30-year loan at 6.9 APR. What will your monthly payment be? How much would you end up paying the bank for the home after 30 years? Suppose you wanted to reduce the time of your loan to 25 years, what would your new monthly payment be? How much would you end up paying the bank for the home after 25 years? And how much did you save by reducing the time of your mortgage loan? Wow, there's a lot in this problem. So let's get started. The first thing is we want to know what our monthly payment is going to be on a 30-year loan at 6.9% APR. We want to pull out our formula sheet and copy down the formula that gives us a monthly payment based on a loan amount. That is D equals P sub 0 times R over K divided by the quantity 1 minus quantity closed 1 plus R over K to the minus NK. This is our loan formula or payout annuity formula that gives us our monthly payments. Now based on this formula, our P sub 0 is our loan amount, which is going to be 150000 Our R value is 0 0.069. Our K value, well, because we're paying monthly, that's going to be 12, because we pay 12 times a year. N is the number of years, and that's going to be 30. And n times k, well, that's simply 30 times 12, or 360. This is everything I need in order to calculate d. So I simply have to put all these numbers into my formula and then calculate it on a calculator. If we put 150,000 in for p0, and 0 0.069 in for R, 12 for K, divided by 1 minus the quantity 1 plus, again, 0 0.069 divided by 12 to the negative 360, that's going to give us the following amount. Now, I like to use Desmos, the online calculator, to get this amount. So I'm going to go to Desmos.com and evaluate that, and I'll put the scratch work on the next page. So we're going to write down our scratch work. So for part A, or our first part, we are evaluating using Desmos to get our monthly payments. This gives us, according to Desmos, that our monthly payments are $987.90. That's for a $150,000 loan at 6.9% for 30 years. So let's put that in our first box. $987 dollars and 90 cents. Now we can move on and look at our second problem. How much would you end up paying the bank for the home after 30 years? Now remember our loan amount was 150,000, but we're paying $987.90. So that means our payments in total come from taking $987.90, first multiplying it by 12, and that tells how much we are paying per year, and then multiplying it by 30. This is the amount of payments that we make for an, for an entire year over 30 years, so that's the total amount of payments that we're actually paying the bank for this loan. 987.90 times 12 times 30 gives us 
$644. That's how much money we're actually paying the bank for the loan. $355,644. Now, suppose I wanted to reduce the time of the loan to 25 years. Now what would our monthly payment be? To do this part of the problem, we are going to relook at our first part. In the first part, we had a monthly payment, but it was based on a 30-year loan. We're now going to repeat that process, but this time, instead of 30 years, we're going to calculate based on 25 years. All of the rest of our information remains the same. That is, our house or our loan amount is 150000 our rate is 0 0.069, K is still 12 because we're making monthly payments, but this time N is 25, and as a result, NK becomes a new number, 25 times 12, or simply 300. D, that's what we're looking for. So again, I'm going to go to Desmos and I'm going to input the expression 150,000 times 0 0.069 over 12 divided by 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.6, excuse me, 0 0.069 over 12 raised to the negative 300 power. So this time, instead of 360, my power is actually going to be 300. Let's go do that quickly. When I evaluate that on Desmos, I get now, for the scratch work now, that D is equal to 1050 dollars and 62 cents. Again, I'm using Desmos.com, the free online calculator, which I love because all I have to do is just change the exponent from 360 to 300, and it gives me my new monthly payments. So let's put that in our answer box. So we'll go back and we'll put $1,050 and 62 cents. That's the monthly payments for a 25 year loan. Again, we repeat the process. How much would we end up paying the bank for the home after 25 years? Well, to get our total payments, what do we do? We take our monthly payment, which is $1,050 and 62 cents, we multiply it by 12, and that tells us how much we're paying per year to the bank. And then we multiply that, excuse me, multiply that times 25. That gives us 315,186 dollars. And that's how much we would end up paying the bank for borrowing the money on our loan, 315,000. $186. Now the last question. How much did you save by reducing the time of your mortgage loan? So what we're now going to do is compare. We're going to compare the amount that we paid the bank for 30 years to the amount that we paid the bank for 25 years. Now, of course, we paid more for 30 years, right? They're charging us interest for a longer period of time. So how much did we save? Well, we're going to have to subtract. 355644 subtract off 315186 That total is 40400 and $58. So when we subtract those amounts, we get $40,458. That's how much we've saved 
if we were to use a 25-year loan instead of a 30-year loan. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to reach out and email me. Good luck.